Hi there. In this video we're going to look at setting up a Seaboard with Ableton Live, using the Equator plugin which is provided with every Seaboard. For this video I'm using a Seaboard Rise 25, but the process is the same for each Seaboard. The Seaboard uses multiple channels of MIDI, so that each dimension of touch can be expressed polyphonically. Due to the way that Ableton handles MIDI on a track, this means that we'll need to create one track for each channel from the Seaboard. To get started, we're going to open up the Roly Dashboard application and check a few settings. If you've installed the Seaboard software bundle, you'll find Roly Dashboard in your Applications or Programs folder. Dashboard controls the way that the Seaboard behaves and sends MIDI data. Down here on the right, we're going to set the channel mode to Multi and set MPE to On. Next we'll select a channel range from 2 to 5, and you'll notice that the global channel automatically sets itself to 1. You might be wondering why we've selected a channel range of 2 to 5, and we'll come back to that later on in this video. We'll also want to set Dashboard's pitch bend range to 48. That will allow us to glide up to 48 semitones up and down from a starting note on the Seaboard. Next let's open up Ableton. We want to make sure that all of the Seaboard's MIDI messages reach the Equator plugin. So we'll open up Ableton's Preferences, and under the Link MIDI tab, check that Track and Remote for the Seaboard's input are set to On. While we're in the Preferences window, we'll also head to the File Folder tab and set VST and AU plugins to On. This just ensures that Ableton makes your plugins available. Ableton will save these settings, so you won't need to check them next time. So, now we have a blank project. I'm going to clean things up by deleting these audio tracks, we don't need them for now. We have two MIDI tracks left, and we're going to use the first as our host track. For the host track, we'll set the MIDI input to no input. This is very important, the host track won't receive any MIDI directly from the Seaboard. It will produce the audio of the Equator plugin, but will receive the Seaboard's multi-channel note data via the voice tracks, which we will create in a moment. Click and drag the Equator plugin to complete the host track. Equator will open up. Let's select a preset and check some settings. By default, the settings we're about to look at should be fine, but it is worth double checking just in case they've been altered in a previous session. Click on Equator's menu and open up MIDI MPE settings. Here we have some familiar options. We want to make sure that the Seaboard and Equator plugin are using the same settings. So each of these options should be the same as the ones we set in Roly Dashboard earlier on. MPE mode is on, channels from 2 to 5, the global channel has set itself to 1, and we're using a pitch bend range of 48 semitones. Now Equator's all ready. We just need to set up the voice tracks in Ableton that will receive the Seaboard's MIDI and pass it on to our host track as multi-channel data. I'm going to use this second MIDI track as my first voice track. Under MIDI From, select the Seaboard, and under MIDI To, select the Host track. Now we'll duplicate this track so that there is one track for each channel being sent by the Seaboard. Our channel range right now is 2 to 5, so including the global channel we will need a total of 5 voice tracks. Lastly, we'll set each track to receive one channel from the Seaboard and pass it on to the corresponding channel on the Host track. This is what makes it possible for each dimension of touch to be polyphonic. The first voice track receives channel 1 from the Seaboard and sends it to channel 1 on the plugin of the host track. The second voice track receives channel 2 from the Seaboard and sends it to channel 2 on the plugin of the host track. The third voice track receives and sends channel 3, and so on. We're ready to go. Arm each of the voice tracks, but not the host track, and record as normal. The notes and their touch dimension data will be spread out across the voice tracks, and the audio will be produced by the Equator plugin on the host track. Now, you might notice that this current setup allows for a total expressive polyphony of four voices. That means that you can perform up to four voices simultaneously, and that each of those voices will have independent expression of all parameters, including pitch bend. 
The expressive polyphony is determined by the channel range we use. Earlier on we selected a channel range of 2 to 5. This gives 4 voice expressive polyphony because channel 1 is used for global controller messages, like the sustain pedal, and channels 2 to 5 are used for notes and note specific controllers, like press or slide. We can increase the expressive polyphony of our Ableton setup by using more channels. To do that, we would first go back to Rolly Dashboard to increase the channel range. With a channel range of 2 to 16, the Seaboard's expressive polyphony is now 15 voices. That's 15 voices with full expression of all parameters. Next, we would go back to Ableton and create more voice tracks to accommodate the extra channels now being sent. We'll duplicate the last voice channel here and change the channels in the From and To sections. Finally, we'll open up the Equator plugin to make sure that it's also listening out for all of these extra channels. Done. Now we have an expressive polyphony of 15 voices, and Equator is actually performing a few clever tricks in the background to allow for a few more voices in certain situations, like when the sustain pedal is being used. I hope you found this video helpful and be sure to check out our other setup guides at support.roly.com.